Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Spirit Bear. Last episode, well, we've been wandering around, doing some exploring and taking care of things that needed to be taken care of, and finding things, and clearing out the map. And we also get, did an upgrade to this thing here. At first I thought, oh well, we've got more things to project, but no. We have files now. Gwen. Almost lost a finger while living on a farm in Indiana. Her favorite cigarette brand has always been Red Apple. The night her mother died, she ate five buckets of popcorn to deal with her grief. Astrid makes a mean guacamole, but hates eating it. Despite her vocal protestations, she loves hearing Giovanni snoring. Slapped a Nazi soldier with a cast iron skillet during the war. Gustav doesn't understand the deal with Chablis. Really likes rugby. Thinks the paradigm shift of postmodernist movements was a mistake. Alice. Likes one granddaughter more than the rest, but will never tell. Sometimes dreams of Ansgar's strong arms. A tool. Caught a fish with his bare hands. Awarded a participation award at a wood carving contest. And sits down in the shower. Summer. Thinks citrine and quartz are different stones. Once mimicked the movements of a sunflower field for a whole day. And secretly thinks Rose's family is weird. Jackie. Likes to boast about his foreign origins, but doesn't know much about his father's country. Often in his underwear because he runs hot, and has murky memories of his childhood. Bruce and Mickey. Thinks you don't need to know right now. Loves marble on everything, and says Mickey has never lost a fight. Beverly. Won second place at Chelsea's annual chili cook-off. Never forgets if someone has ever been... If someone has ever been mean to her, and only had one favorite neighbor in her whole life... In her life. Oh, Buck. Secretly thinks Demons and Ghoul's second edition is better than the first. Daria has chromesthesia, or a sound to color synesthesia. Oh, that's what that is. Was extremely popular throughout her art academy. Wishes she wouldn't act up as much when she gets visitors. Giovanni splashes himself with other people's perfumes whenever he can. Had once stolen an ashtray that had already belonged to him, and knows almost all of Pablo Neruda's poems by heart. Stanley. Saw a squirrel once, ate two breakfasts in a day one time, and likes looking up the stars at night. And Lily, never turns down a drink, afraid of the big unknown, and always there for her big sister. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. Now then, ring the bell, wake, wake him up, and let's go down and take a look at... Retsuno Meadows. There's strawberries there, and we need some more strawberries. Just two more, and we'll have enough. Go ahead, what are the plants? I mean, we may as well. There we go. So remind me, what are the upgrades we need to get next? Because there's one more that we can get for you. Silk, fabric, electrum, and steel. We can make some more silk. There we go, that'll be, do that'll be good. Oop. There, that'll be enough silk, and we need an electrum and a steel. You know what? We're already arriving at the place. Let's get the strawberries. We may as well, after all. Gonna be here somewhere. There we go, we got the strawberries. Pretty sure that's all we needed here. 
Oh, crotch thrust to victory. Thank you. And moving on. I will try to get more if I can get a chance. All right. Hikarashima Lighthouse. I'm curious if we can do anything here now that we have Buck and he has his house. Oh, you're hungry. Sure, I can give you something to eat. Uh, let's see. I gave you some focaccia recently. Uh... How do you feel about Sir Stroming? Oh, you'll eat it. Magic ingredients. Toadstools from the Shadow Forest. Oh, thank you for the mushrooms. And you're fairly happy. Uh, why did I step in there? I need an Electrum and Steel. Oh boy. May as well make one of them. There we go, Electrum. Get on it. I'll harvest some things while we do. I guess I can get some more milk. Not that I really need to. I mean, yeah, I have the animals, but I don't really need what they're giving me. do much with the milk. And honestly, the only person left on the boat right now doesn't drink milk because he's lactose intolerant. So why did I do that? I had no reason to. Oh, too much. And again. Oh. Yeah, this one's kind of... Like I said, this is annoying and I really don't like it. And there we go. There. We still need a steel, though. And a zip line over. There we go. Now, let's see if we can do anything at this lighthouse. I don't need you. Alright, up to the top, please. Still no idea what I'm supposed to do with these lighthouses. Oh wait, was that a... No, I've done that one. Okay, ignore the lighthouse then. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do. Really want to know. Alright, uh... Hoseki Quarry. We've got a missing rare chest and someone to find here. A chef. Well, we'll find him. Yeah, you know what, I'll pick it up later. Let's see if I can make that steel. Yep, we can have enough. It heats up very quickly. Oh, too much. There we go. That should be enough to get the third upgrade. Last improvement. 
Powerful weapons. Cuts your enemies down. Boom. I'm sure Buck's really happy about that. In fact, let's go speak with him and see. Come on, we're coming, Buck. Ah, he's probably showing up here right now. There he is. He has absolutely nothing to say. Okay, then. Still, nice little room you got there. Now, we're at Hoseki Quarry, and we need to find a chef. There's apparently also something unknown around here. Just a moment. Okay, I see some of what I need to do. Just need to get to where I need to be. This day is going to be a long one. Hmm. Yes, this is what I couldn't do before. Because I had seen that there was something here. There it is! Two cherry seeds and an opal. And there's a hidden one here. Opal, diamonds, and a crystal chandelier. That should clear this out. Now, let's see if I can find... whoever is supposed to be the chef here in Hoseki. Somewhere around here is someone who is doing some talking about things. I think I just came back to the entrance. I've been working in this mine since before I was born. My mom worked here, my dad worked here, my granddad... Well, you get it. I don't know if I could have, if I would ever leave. To work at the Overbrook Hospital? In the kitchen? I see. Cooking is like hitting rocks. Are you sure? Those two things sound very different. You do make a compelling argument. You sure have a way with words. And that voice. Well, I'm sold on the idea, and I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Trouble is, we can't just up and leave. We need people to cover our posts. Wait, wait, I've got it. Wait. No, I just lost it. Wait. No. Wait. I got it. What if instead of people, we use dummies? We just need to dress up scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in our work clothes. They'll look like regular employees, but they won't move. I'm sure the raccoon mining company won't know the difference. Plus, as an added benefit, dummies don't need to eat. Fewer lunch breaks, more productivity. It's a win-win situation. They won't talk back either. They'll be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to step into those dummies. So, you should go out and get everything. Some wood, some linen, a couple carrots. Yeah, that could work. Oh yeah, this is a totally great plan. I can't wait to start hitting food and make real culinary art. Come back when you have all the materials. Uh, we need some linen fabric, which we can make. Sure thing. All right, let's just make some linen fabric back on the ship. Nice and easy. Four should be enough. And there we go. Let's just speak to them. Nice, quick, easy trip. I'm going to be very surprised if this plan actually ends up working, but sure, why not? <laughs> you were right here. So? Good job. You've got it all. 
I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dummies. We'll make them look real. Raccoon Inc. Mining Company won't be able to tell the difference. When they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it'll be too late. We'll be free and ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this new exciting career opportunity. See you in the kitchen at Overbrook. Sure thing. Alright, and I should be done with everything here. Let me just take a look at the map. Yep, everything there. Well, except the mushrooms, but I don't care about those. I guess we should stop at Furogawa to pick up one of the people who's missing. Then after that, we've got... Kalkstein Mines has a lot that we haven't been to. There was a blueprint chest. Did we get a blueprint? Hold on. Okay, we've done that, we've done that. We're done. Missing the windmill. Field's done. Garden's done. Silk fabric we need for cow stalls. Missing the orchard. That one's been done. That one's been done. Upgrading the smithy. Again, we need a steel sheet and a whole bunch of XP potions. How the hell do you get XP potions? I'm convinced we actually need to find these uh, old buddies of his. So, all right, let's head to Furogawa. And we'll make a steel sheet. Just so that we can get the steel sheet out of the way. Go! Pro My guess is that doing this will allow us to get like two things. hell was that just now? I don't know. But there we go. Got the steel sheet, so now we just need a ton of XP potions, however the hell you get them. Yeah, what the hell, why not? It'll be doing something. Alright, we've made it. Let's see if we can find his buddy. Buck will probably be standing next to him. Let's see what we can find. Oh, wow, I feel amazing. Warning, sacred dog fe feels so brazing. Oh, that's uh, the song guy. Right, never mind him. Don't think it's that guy. Why did I agree to come here? I'm so happy that my brother made it. Hello to you, too. Hello to you, too. Thank you again for your time. What? The goats! The thin air! My boy! Okay, come on, where is the guy? Definitely not you. No, thank you, I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling. It must be up there. Look at that mountain. It's so real, like a drawing. Oh no, there's nobody here. Never mind, I take it back. I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought there was someone in Furugawa. 
Clearly, I was horribly mistaken. Alright, let's head back. I made a mistake. Oh boy, too far. There we go. So Via Maggiore is the last one. Right, okay. Anyway, let's see here. So we've got... You know what, before we go over there, let's see if I can get another uh, tuna. Because if I can get three different types of tuna, that'll be good. I'd be fine with that. We got a squid. What next? Another squid, huzzah, but we should be able to get the tuna now. We should be in place. There we go. Just gotta tap it to make sure it doesn't get away when everything goes red and he pulls back. Got an albacore. Perfect. Now then, next. Uh, there's plenty in the Kaltstein mines. I'm gonna look up the map for that one, because, again, I don't like these mines and how hard it is to find our way through these places. Go ahead and harvest. That's all that harvested. Um, yeah, go ahead, put the rest of the corn in. And we're breaking through into the cold regions. find that wherever the hell it is. Oh, that's what that was. Oh, it's daytime. Ring the bell. Go ahead and harvest these, why not? I have so many cherries. I mean, really. And we made it to the Kaltstein Mines. <sighs> Kaltstein? Whatever. Point is, I'm going to take another look at a map in order to uh, figure out what I'm missing from here. Because... Is there anything? Nope, there's nothing to the west. Oh. Alright, give me a moment. Okay, so just getting a glance at things. Entrance over here.
think there's something after we fall down a path. Hold on. I think I missed something. Okay, I see. Well, first of all, there's something to the left. Maybe not. I don't know. I've already lost track of things. Yeah, I've already lost track of everything. I've got a zip line that goes up to here. And there's... Okay, so... This goes here. This goes here. Oh, damn it. Okay, screw that up. So we got this that jumps to here. Jumps to here. There. Found something here. Maple syrup! Finally, I found a bit. Oh, and here's another thing, which has metal rope and a crystal chandelier. Ah, damn it, missed. Okay, but I did pick up some of the things that I missed. Oh, jeez. I jumped off too soon for that. Okay, let me check something here again. Okay, I've got to go way up. Over this way. Damn it. No, 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 damn it. As soon as we finish this area, I'm going to end the episode. Yes, I know, I'm kind of cheating a little bit by using a map, but... Screw it! These places are dark, dismal, hard to navigate, and I don't like them. Okay. Made it to here. Give me a moment. Okay, so go up this way. Then I head all the way over to a glide. Oh, damn it. Heads up to here. Heads over to here. Heads to here. One sec. So there is something down here. And I passed right by it. Son of a bitch. I mean, I probably picked it up already, but may as well check. I did not! Sunflower and pear seeds. I don't need either of those, but at least it's done. Okay, make my way back up to here. And then... Aha! Opal and metal rope. I think that might be everything. Let me check. There might be one more thing. Ah, one more thing. Got it. More diamonds and a fancy vase. I think that's it. 
think that's everything in the Kaltstein mines. Double check. Yep, I got all the rare chests, and there was nothing else there. Alright. Nord Pier, I don't know what the fuck I'm missing there. And we've got Lonebergs, nothing there to grab. Nordweiler, nothing there to grab. But we do have Via Maggiore, so we do need to stop there. We will. But I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, more exploring and helping people. Till then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Stella and Daffodil. This has been a Let's Play of Spiritfarer, and I shall see you all next time.